All right, so the coronavirus pandemic obviously has hit families hard. For parents who've lost their jobs, affording even the basics is a struggle. That includes diapers for their babies. CBS 2's Joy Benedict shows us a diaper giveaway in Koreatown. Okay. All right, thank you for coming. It was a handout for the youngest in the community as cars lined up for free diapers. He's only three months. He goes through diapers like real quick. So there's a real need here. <laughs> With three kids, Daisy Ronquillo is managing a household of five. When the maternity leave and everything was going to be over, I was going to go back to work, and then all this started to happen. Now surviving on only her husband's income, they are doing what they have to to get by. Every morning we go to the LAUSD one. When we go to the grocery store, we have to make sure we have a specific list of specifically what we're going to buy, and we try to look up prices and everything to make sure that you know it's within the budget. It's a similar story that brought hundreds of people to the office of LA Councilman Herb West. It helps a lot. You know, well, so many people live on the margins. Hell, I've lived on the margin. Sometimes I live on the margin. So anything that you can, can get to help going through a crisis like this is important. The giveaway is part of a joint effort between Wesson's office and the Good Plus Foundation, which donated 200,000 diapers to those in this community. And I think it's important that people know that we give a damn about them and that we'll, you know, go above and beyond. Families were asked to pre-register for the diaper giveaway online, and as soon as it was posted, there was so much of a response that within hours, every diaper was spoken for. Hopefully this will be an inspiration to others to donate and just about anything that you have people can use. The box of more than 100 diapers sure was a blessing for this mom. It's going to help us a lot. And she sure is thankful for the support from this giveaway and others that are allowing her family to stay home and stay safe. Joy Benedict, CBS 2 News.